In this video we will talk about the installation of a talent on Windows. Well, we will not only talk about it, I will show you what you have to do and we will do that together. To install talent open studio on your machine, you need Java installed. So we check if Java is installed and installed if necessary. That's the first step. Second step would be installing 7-zip if you don't have that yet. And the third step is talent open studio downloading and zipping and starting the executable. For all this, we're going to use these different download links. I will also put them in the description for your reference if you're going to follow along and in the demo itself, you're going to see them again. So now it's a demo time. Let's head over to my uh, VM. And here we can see I got a small version of these steps already. And we're going to start with this one. Okay, I'm on a Windows box where I don't have a Java installed. Uh, but in any case, you can check by going to your Windows button and then type CMD to open the comment prompt. And here you can type Java space and dash version. And then you either get the message that it's not recognized if it's not installed and not on your path, or you get another Java version than the one which is recommended for talent. The Java version recommended for talent, which is uh, taken from this link here from the official prerequisites for installing a talent open studio uh, is in this one here. And if you want to install Java, the easiest way is to take this open JDK here from Sulu. So just click on in this link. And when you get to this page on the left hand side, click on and download. And now on this uh, first form that's shown to you, and it should take me down here. And then here I select Java 11 for a operating system that is Windows and a 64 bit version. And now I'm having those two alternatives. What I did, I downloaded the MSI, the installer and install it on this machine. So you can see here already, I've got this uh, in my downloads folder. So I just double click it, go to next with the default configuration, click install, give it permission here. And it's pretty quick to do all that. And now it's already finished. If you now rerun this command here, you still not get the desired output. Why? Uh, because you have to open the terminal again for this. So I now, new uh, comment prompt window. I type again a Java space dash version. And now I get the uh, desired output here, which is open JDK 11. This is fine. So we can go to the next step, which is installing a seven zip. Uh, also for seven zip, uh, there is a download page, which is seven dash zip dot org slash download dot HTML. There grab your corresponding Windows executable. I have this also in my directory here already, the .exe file, double click it, give permission here, click on install, and that's it. Super quick, okay? And now the third step is to download Talent Open Studio uh, from this link. It's sourceforge.net slash projects slash talent dash big data. Uh, also in my browser here, I've got this page open already. And this one here, go to files here, then Talent Open Studio for big data. Take the latest version that does not have a M in its name, okay, like this, because the M versions are milestone versions, they might be less as stable than other ones. So I take the 801 here, and then I get the possibility to download this .zip archive. You can see it's around one gigabyte, so it might take a moment or two to download to your machine. I've done that already. And then uh, I uh, use right click and 7-zip to say extract here to extract it inside this folder. Also the extraction process may take a moment. And once this is extracted, I will move it around to another place where I I prefer to have it, for example, on my C drive. So let's give it a second to extract this. And now and this archive is extracted. As you can see here, I've got the uh, folder with uh, the corresponding name and I can just use Control X to cut it here. And now I paste my folder that I just cut from the downloads. Now you see here, I've got a folder with a name, toss, BD and the version at the end. So I go inside and this folder and this Windows executable, this .exe 
uh, with the, the talent icon on it, I double click it to start a talent open studio. So as you can see here from my notes, these are the first two steps for a talent open studio that we've done. Now I create a folder called workspace, which is not inside in this folder, but besides this folder. Okay, so I will delete the one that I already have here and create a new folder called workspace because I prefer to have the workspace outside of the open studio folder. After accepting the license terms here, so we're going to manage connections and intent also tell it to use in this workspace folder that I have here. Okay, so I select this folder, click OK and restart my studio to connect to this workspace folder that I recently created. And once I have this, again, I go to manage connections to put a nice email address here uh, because I cannot change the email address anymore once I'm using Talent Open Studio. So I'm using my company email address and my custom workspace and then I click OK. And now before I leave this window and create a project, I uncheck this box. So the next time I'm automatically starting into the project that I'm going to create here now. Let's call that Talent Basics and hit Finish. So Talent would now completely start the studio and create this empty project for me, loading all the components necessary. So this may take a while. And then the last two things that we're going to do, we're going to install the external libraries that Talent needs at least to run uh, that cannot be packaged in Talent itself. And then we're going to create a sample job. Okay, Talent opened this new tab here as well. Uh, with extra resources, I don't need that. And also this welcome wizard, I will close. And now I will just wait a minute or so uh, for this one here to pop up. And, and then here, additional talent packages, choose the features to install, leave it the way it is. So required third party libraries and click on finish. And for this installation to succeed, I select I accept. And then here I click accept all. So talent can go ahead and install all the libraries that it needs uh, to be able to run. And in the meantime, we can go ahead and go to job designs here on the top left side in our repository, right click and create a job called demo, hit finish. And here in the middle, a the so-called designer will open. And this is where we will build our integration jobs. And we will just add one simple component there that will show a pop-up window, which is called TMSG box. If you want to look for a component, you go to the right hand side here to the palette and type MSG, a part of the name, and you can drag and drop that into your job. If you want to see the settings, double click the icon, you get to the component tab basic settings. Here we don't have to change anything for this quick demo. We just go to the run tab and hit the run button. That's all we have to do to get Talent Open Studio installed on Windows, right? So we did Java installation, we did 7-zip installation, we downloaded this archive, unzipped it, started the executable, created the workspace, imported the extra libraries, and now just finished creating this and demo job. And that's it for how to install a Talent Open Studio on a Windows box. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to learn more, go to bit.ly slash talentdata. There you will find a comprehensive talent course.